Boom dia, good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi Taihutu, and yes, I am the guy that four years ago with his family sold literally everything they owned, went all into Bitcoin and started traveling the world. Now, coming to you from the beautiful Lagos and Portugal that you can see in the background, need to look downwards now and then because I'm walking the cliffs. In today's video, talking about Bitcoin blockchain and the life yes some really cool bitcoin charts of course also showing you the profit of the bam bam indicator and talking about the news i read this morning early during my delicious cup of coffee fisherman coming back what more do you want in the morning in lagos portugal seeing those fishermen coming back enjoying the sun in lagos portugal where you can see how beautiful this city is and waking up now early here in the Algarve. Enjoy today's video guys. Bam! thought about walking across these cliffs but then I continuously need to look to my feet where I step because there's a lot of like holes in between so probably Didi it's better just to walk the beach and um, you already have a beautiful idea of how beautiful it is here in Lagos Portugal so I will go back to the beach and talk to you there about Bitcoin blockchain and life hopefully the DJI can film like this because the Sun is coming from that side so you see the difference bam now i'm cheerful and bright and there we go again a little bit more darkish so we'll keep the camera on my right hand yes this is good i go to the beach now guys you will probably see a lot of people looking very strange at me because i'm walking with my shorts barefooted uh, t-shirt all of the people here in lagos for them it's winter and they are like, oh, it's so cold. So they are wearing with jeans, winter jackets, even hats and everything. I do this as well in the mornings and the evenings. But now it's a little bit later. It's like around 8 o'clock or something, I think. And the sun is shining and then you just feel the warmth. I am just not feeling cold. For me, perfect temperature. Hopefully it gets a little bit more warmer for this winter. But yeah, you know, I can understand. But for cold Portuguese people, it's also cool to wear some long clothes at a certain period in, year, in the year. But for me, nah, I prefer barefooted, touching this, check, the water is really nice. It's good. So let's talk about Bitcoin blockchain and life. Let's first start with the Bitcoin part, the part where I bomb you with really cool Bitcoin charts. Bam! At the moment, guys, Bitcoin is fighting this 36k level. Like I showed you already before in the video, I think a few times this week, there is this huge chart, the rhythmic growth chart, this one, bam, you can see that this midline is around 36,000 US dollar. We have a top line, we have a bottom line, and we have a midline. And if you zoom out and you look to 2017, you can see we did the same thing. We kept fighting this midline for a couple of weeks, because this is a weekly chart. Every candle is a week. We will close another candle tomorrow on Sunday. And that candle will, will again close around this 36K level line, like I already showed you a week ago. So yes, we are still fighting this line. And we probably keep fighting this line. And then all we repeat what happened in 2013, or we repeat what happened in 2017, and that would be a pullback. And the pullback could be all the way to this yellow line. If there is no volume coming in, we will definitely pull back to this yellow line. And that line would then be around 20k. So that is a huge pullback. That is a 40% pullback. If we keep fighting this level for some longer, like we did in 2013, then we could also see a smaller pullback. And then again, try to break this midline. And then we go into this huge pull run. Because every time we do the same, we fight this midline for some weeks, we see a small or a big pullback, 
then we fight this midline again for one or two weeks, then we break it, and then we accelerate in this huge Bitcoin bull run that will take us to the top of that growth curve. And the top of that growth curve is between 100 and 200K, depending on when we will reach that top. So very interesting chart, and I will keep reminding you to this chart so you don't freak out every dip, but you zoom out and you see the bigger picture, and that is the goal of the top line of this growth curve. Bam! The positive part, guys, is that if Bitcoin is consolidating, like going sideways for a couple of days, week, that makes it possible for the alts to come up. And that is what we saw happening yesterday already. We saw Link going up with 20%. We saw many alts going up. Also, Ethereum is slowly coming up, but Ethereum has a huge growth potential. So yes, when Bitcoin goes sideways, I believe that all these alts have the opportunity to like climb. Because please remember, Bitcoin did not only break the previous all-time high, Bitcoin even doubled the previous all-time high. Ethereum still needs to break the previous all-time high to then double in price. So if Ethereum would be performing as well as Bitcoin, it would need to reach 2,800 US dollar. That is doubling the previous all-time high. Litecoin should be then reaching 700 US dollar. That is doubling the previous all-time high. So Bitcoin is outperforming both, I think. Ethereum is outperforming Bitcoin in 2021, like the first 11 days of 2021. But you will understand what I just said. Bitcoin broke the previous all-time high and doubled the previous all-time high. Ethereum didn't even break the previous all-time high. Litecoin didn't even break the previous all-time high. So let's stand double the all-time high, which would bring them to 700 or 2,800 US dollar. So yes, I am buying some Litecoin and Ethereum today again. I'm buying the dip because for me, this still is a Litecoin and Ethereum dip. Bam. To be very honest, guys, of course, we also need to consider the bearish scenario. Bearish scenario could bring Bitcoin all the way down to 28K. Take a look at this chart created by Bitcoin Jack. Bam. This chart shows you that we could now be forming a B wave. We had a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 wave, ABC correction. But in the bigger picture, you can see this would be the B wave because the other ones were part of the A wave up to the top of the channel. And then we can get this B wave down to the bottom of the channel. And the bottom of this channel would be 28,000 US dollar per Bitcoin. We still need to break the support of 34K, 32K, 30K before we can even drop to 28K. But if it comes to the Elliott Waves calculations, the bearish scenario would be dropping to 28,000 US dollar per Bitcoin. So yes, I also share with you guys what could happen if we don't fulfill the bullish scenario of going to break 40K and even higher, maybe to 50K in the near future. Always be aware of two scenarios. Always keep some stable coins aside to buy the dip and always hedge your shorts and longs by setting buy or sell orders on an other exchange that you do the long. If you want to know more about this, visit the Discord server and we will educate you there on how to do this, how to hedge your positions on different exchanges. Really cool to trade and to minimize the risk. So come and join the Bitcoin family on the Discord server where we will tell you how you can do all this cool stuff with trading. BAM! Talking about the BAM, <laughs> let's take a look at the BAM BAM indicator. The last couple of days, I don't have so much time, guys. Yes, I'm filming with this arm, so it looks really strange. But if I film this direction, I don't think the light is good. But I will try it. Um, the last couple of days, I was really busy. So yesterday, I could only do one trade. This chart shows you which trade I did. Bam! I traded with 200 US dollar with a leverage of 10. And you can see I traded on Bybit because I want to use a trailing stop loss. As I was doing a lot of interviews and all that stuff yesterday, I just didn't have time to enter the screen. I only took one short and that was a 100% short. Maybe I was lucky or the market was good or the Bam Bam indicator just gave me the good information on entering the short. I took the short, it was a 100% profit, so I ended up with 400 US dollar. So that's a lot of profit in just one day trading, just one trade. I added a trailing stop loss of around 300 US dollar 
when I saw that the trade was going positive and that one was stopped out and that is why we exited the market with an end result of 400 US dollar. This trade guys didn't show a triple confirmation but it did show two confirmations and the third thing on the chart that, I, that made me decide to go short. Like you can see on the chart, you can see that we had three lower highs in a row. Every time the high was a little bit lower. And then this third one was a red flag again. At the same time, we were still acting in the green area of the margin call. So normally I would not take that short. The Bam Bam indicator showed a drop across the green line downwards towards the white line. Also, the stepping line, we could see a candle closing below the stepping line. So there were two confirmations and the third thing that is experience that you saw three lower highs in a row and that made me decide to take this short. And it was a good short because it was a 10% drop and a 10% drop times 10 leverage is a 100% profit. So that is how I sometimes also take a trade, you know, when there is no three confirmations but only two but another factor that tells me, ah, take this short. Negative news, three lower highs in a row, all that stuff matters. And you will get used to using all these signals more and more. As well, And we will start to talk more and more about this on the Discord server because we want to educate you all about trading and how to analyze these markets. Because, for example, what could affect a market? Let's talk about this in this part, the part where I read the news this morning. This one. Bam! In the news part, I will share with you how that the shorts and long I take could be influenced by the news I read that day. For example, this morning I read about this fund in Canada, 3IQ fund, I think it's called, a fund in Canada, a huge fund. And they stated now that they have more than $780 million worth of their fund invested in Bitcoin. So that's one billion Canadian dollar, 780 million US dollar in Bitcoin by an officially publicly registered fund in Canada. So when I read this, this is very positive news. Good morning. The dog is very happy. I don't know if you can see it. He's there. <laughs> Morning. So that was a, this is very positive news because if these huge institutional, institutional investors in Canada also know how to invest in Bitcoin, that can be very positive news for the market. But on the other hand, I also read the news about Mt. Gox. And a lot of people could see this news about Mt. Gox very negative because Mt. Gox is going to pay back all the people that lost their Bitcoins and that would be around, I think, 4.9 billion US dollar. I think it was 780,000 Bitcoins that got lost in Mt. Gox. So if all those people will be receiving back their funds on Mt. Gox, the Bitcoins, which would be 4.9 billion, what are they going to do? Are they going to sell the Bitcoins? Will that crash the market? Are they going to hollow the Bitcoins? Will that make the market even stronger? What would you do? Let's say you have been waiting six years to get your funds back from an exchange that collapsed, Mount Gox, and you will receive back $1 million worth of Bitcoin. In the current market, are you going to sell it? Or are you deciding, ah, no, 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 we are in the bull run, we are going to go way much higher, we are going to go to 100K, so I won't sell now, I will sell at the top. And if you would decide to sell it, would you sell it on an exchange and crash the market by doing so? Or would you sell it in an OTC deal to one of these huge funds so you don't influence the market? So there are many things in the news that you can interpret in a different way, but it's cool to think about the positive and the negative influence that news can have on your trades that day. For me, I think when those Mt. Gox people receive back their Bitcoins, I don't think they will sell at the moment because they also know we are in the bull market. They have been waiting on their Bitcoins for six years, been educating themselves, and I don't think they will start to freak out now, oh, we won't go higher anymore. And I do think that the list of addresses that those people own is known by these huge funds as well. And I do think that they will contact them and tell them, you know, if you want to sell your Bitcoins, 
we are very happy to buy up all your bitcoins and then you get this psychology split game because if, if, if i would put myself in this place i receive one million US dollar of bitcoins and then i'm doubting ah, i should sell them now because it's a lot of uh, profit you know i need to break even with what i invested at that time in mount gox blah 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 but then this huge company comes to me like grayscale or microstrategy and they tell me ah no worries i will buy your bitcoins that will make me doubt again like whoa 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 wait is this big company now offering to buy my bitcoins in an otc deal why would they do it we are on the top of the market or do they know more or don't they think that we are on the top of the market so you get this psychology game in your head that those people that the those, those victims of the mount gox that they were like um nah wait maybe i won't sell my bitcoins because there is a reason why you want to buy them and then maybe they only sell a part of it you know to make some profit to have a beautiful holiday of all the stress they had the last six years but maybe the biggest part they would just huddle huddle and huddle because they believe what the huge institutions believe that go that bitcoin will become the 21st century gold and that we will see prices way more higher than this 40k top that we saw now and then of course there is another news that you need to consider so then you're on this position again with your men, one million dollar worth of bitcoin and then you read ah goldman sachs is also entering the market now huh but they hated bitcoin uh why do they do this now why is goldman sachs now also joining the game after jp morgan oh shit i just read it they want to be they want to become a custodial service so they believe in bitcoin so bitcoin is safe uh, i jo just had a bad experience with mount gox but now that all these banks are joining the games it will probably be a way more secure environment so ah very positive no i don't think i will sell my bitcoins because now even goldman sachs is joining the game and they want to be a custodial server so there will be a reason why they want to do this nah i will not sell my bitcoins another reason for those mount gox victims to not sell their bitcoins when they receive them back bam and then of course another reason because they keep reading the news and then they read the news and they are like oh shit what is this miami maybe some victims live in miami hey miami they want to put one percent of the city reserves in bitcoin now one percent of the reserves of a city into bitcoin yes because they want to become the new silicon valley of the whole blockchain and the crypto industry so the mayor of miami is doubting on putting one percent of the reserves of that city into bitcoin so this mount gok victim is still like oh my god it's getting more positive and positive why would i sell my bitcoins now even miami the whole city of miami is joining the game i don't think i will sell my bitcoins Bam! It's really fun to analyze the market like this, don't you agree? Like this is really happening in the heads of those people. They read the news. Of course they will receive back a shitload of bitcoins and they will can make a huge amount of profit at the moment. But I don't think the timing is right for them. Because they must read this news as well. They must also see all this positiveness in the market. So for me, I don't think it will influence the price. Even better, I think it will influence the price in a positive way because they will also be huddling the Bitcoins. And that will again show the strength to the rest of the community, to the rest of the world. Like even those victims of Mount Gox that need to wait for six years on their Bitcoins, even they are now positive on Bitcoin. So now we can really go all into Bitcoin, sell the house sell the cars sell your company sell your motorbike sell the toys sell your clothes go all in and just travel the world and just chill chill zoom out <laughs> but imagine imagine that those people are still doubting <laughs> that they are still like ah no nah, i don't know i waited six more years on bitcoin you know i i really want to play it safe now so they keep reading the news and then they read that raul paul is stating Oh my god, Ethereum, Ethereum is going to 20,000 US dollar per Ethereum. That's times 20 from now. So they are reading that article and they read that more and more people are saying, now Ethereum go good, could go way higher because of the DeFi industry. And because of this DeFi, the price could be pushed to 10k Ethereum price or even 20k, like Raul Paul is saying. And they are reading this news and they are like, oh my god, maybe I should just diversify my Bitcoins. I get my Bitcoin funds back. I buy some Ethereum, I buy some Litecoin, and maybe take a little bit into gold, which I would never do, and maybe buy a small apartment, which I also would never do, but those people could play it this way. And if they start to diversify the money they get back from Mount Gox, they won't be crashing the market.
they would probably be pushing the Ethereum market to 20k. This is how I start every day. I read the news, I check the charts, is the Bam Bam indicator in the 4 hour and the day chart showing me a long, I zoom in to the 1 hour chart, if there's also a long, to the 15 minute chart, I also a long, so it's all longs, the news is positive, then I will definitely take that long. Am I reading that another exchange is going to collapse or they are going to delist XRP from an exchange? I won't invest in XRP at that moment because that will crash the price. The news is influencing the people's psychology when it comes to trading. So it's very important to realize that the news also has influence. I hope I made it a little bit more clear how I think that the markets are influenced every day again by the news, but also by, of course, by the buy and the sell orders that all the traders are putting there every day again and again and again. Bam! And that was all the news for today, guys. Yes, I hope you really enjoyed this walk and talk again. Beautiful sides of Lagos, beautiful beach, and hope you really enjoyed the information. If you did enjoy the information, please give the video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to our channel, hit the notification bell, and please leave a comment. Try to educate me because I love to be educated and I love to educate you guys out there. Thanks for watching this video. Always remember to zoom out in Bitcoin and to zoom in at life. Try to enjoy every single minute of the day. And that is exactly what life should be about. Tomorrow, guys, another live walk and talk. Ask me anything on the beach. It will be probably in the morning again to make sure we have some questions to ask me tomorrow. And yes, also, I hope you did enjoy yesterday's Gokstein Media episode about the Bitcoin family. It was already episode eight. But really cool information about what we are going to do in the next couple of weeks, months, how we think about life, what we did, how we think about education and what the kids think about homeschooling. All that packed in a kick-ass episode by Gokstein Media, guys. So if you didn't see it yet, down below the video, there is a link. Click the link and watch that video as well. Thank you for watching today and hopefully see you tomorrow during the Ask Me Anything Beach Walk and Talk here in Lagos, Porgo. Bang! Put on my beach guys, here I on my beach guys, yeah.